JavaScript community gone nuclear and after fresh framework we now have Bun. But no no no, this time we don't have another web framework. Instead, we have a full-blown runtime. So what the hell is JavaScript runtime anyways? Well, it is essentially the environment where our JavaScript code runs. It has two main components features or API and engine. The features are heavily dependent on the environment. For example, a desktop runtime such as Electron needs access to system and UI components. A web browser runtime requires DOM API for manipulating page components, or a server-side runtime like Node.js with lots of server-side required features. You got the idea. Now let's look at the second half, which is the engine. It is the part where the JavaScript code turns into an executable one, and we have few different engines, such as SpiderMonkey from Mozilla, Chakra from Microsoft, JavaScript Core from Apple, and finally V8 from Google, which is one of the most widely used engines. In fact, Node.js and Dino both uses V8 engine, and this is where the bun comes in. Bun is be like, no, no, no. I like to use JavaScript core engine, which gives me a bit of edge over the V8. Then I go down to the depths of the low level programming with Zig, so I can do mad optimization. And after that, I use around 90% of the Node API functions. Therefore, you guys won't have to rewrite a lot of code and be mad at me. On the surface, it all looks nice, and we also have numbers to back that up. As for the server side rendering goes, we see around 200% increase in requests per second. And again, similar gains apply for both database queries per second and foreign function operations per second. These increases do look amazing, but it is always wise to approach them with a grain of salt. So I decided to perform my own tests, however the results are all over the place. What I did was generate 10,000 MD5 hashes and calculate the average generation time. I did that by using the default crypto API provided by Node and create hash function provided by Dino standard library. So I ended up by creating these two files. For bun and Node, I used the JavaScript version, and for the Dino, I used the TypeScript one. Regardless of the which one it is, the logic is same for both, and the results are like this. Notice that I ran tests on two different machines. One is on my Mac, and another is the T2 micro instance on AWS EC2. I did that because my MacBook is pretty old and it does not support AVX2 instruction set, which is a bad thing because without that, Bun does not work. Therefore, I needed to use emulation, and as you've guessed it, it showed up in the results. So, to compensate that, I quickly fired up an EC2 instance and do the same test on here. This time, results are significantly closer to each other. However, there is still no massive distinction, which makes this test inconclusive. And yes, I know that this would be the case beforehand, because runtime testing is a very complex topic. It involves tons of different areas to test, which is a pretty difficult task. In the end, I did those tests just to see how it is like to use the bun, and so far I think that it is pretty nice. If we see the claimed performance increases in the long term across various use cases, that would be very significant. And once that time has come, I would love to switch over to using Bun. And that said, I hope you've enjoyed this short introductory video to Bun. If so, hit the like button and subscribe. And until next time, take care.